Hello my beloved viewers, welcome back to Technical Portal YouTube channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel Lookup series that is running into my channel. So friends, in VLOOKUP formula, the one of the biggest disadvantages is it only finds the lookup value that comes first into your database. That means if you have two or three same information in your database it will find only the first one so today in this video we are going to prevent the situation to get the nth match with the index match function so basically we are going to use the index match function in today's video and this needs one id or one key that is common in the table to retrieve multiple matching values from a set of data with a formula, you can easily use the if and small functions to figure out the row number of each match and feed that value back to index. So let's get back to the point of today's video. So at first we are going to get the ID numbers here with the data valuation formula that we always use that is going through the data tab then data validation select the list from the allow menu in the source select your ID cell range and click on OK to get an down arrow here and there you can find your ID number here so here basically we are going to get the number 2 the second value of lookup value as cost in our from our database so friends at first note that we are basically going to use the array function here so at first use with equation equation then index open the bracket here it is asking for array so what is our array our array will be this one that means what we are searching for then put a comma then here we need to use the small function then into this small function we need to use the if function as nested form so here we need to if select your this range we are basically going to find the id from the list and what your id you are finding that is equals to this one so basically we are finding the id included into this h3 cell finding into this column that is column number c put a comma now use the row function here here again we need to select our range that is that contains the id value close the bracket then put minus symbol now it is asking for value if true and we are going through the value if true function what it will be done into this formula follow my steps i will definitely explain each and every formula i am using in this formula in this video then we have to again use the row function then here we need to use again index function including this into nested form then here we need to select our id ranges again so i have selected it put a comma then type one that is we are searching for row number one put again comma then again one that is column number one close the bracket here we need to close two brackets that is from here use the plus symbol then one close the bracket again put a comma now we are going to use actually which one we are searching for so that value contains into this cell that is g6 cell then close the brackets and simply don't hit the enter button directly we need to press the control shift and then the enter button look at here we successfully find the second value of this id let's search for it this one is first one that contains 999 dollar and this one is not that the second one where it is so there it is double a double one id 
and it cost actually 359 and you changes in this it will show you accordingly and if you type 1 here it will show you the first result and if you type 3 so it will show you the last one that means the third value that can be find into your database so let's check how this formula actually works at the core the formula is simply an index formula that retrieves the value in an array at a given position right the value for n is supplied in column number g and all the heavy work that the formula does is to figure out the row from which to retrieve a value where row corresponds to nth match that contains in the g6 cell the if function does the work of figuring out which rows contains a match and the small function returns a value returns the nth value from that list inside of if the logical test contains id where it find into this column number c note that the id matches at the first and fourth position where appear as true the value if true argument in if generates a list of relative row numbers so this array is then filtered by the logical test results and the if function returns the array result note that we have valid row number from row 1 and row 2 this array is then processed by small which is configured to use values in column g to return nth values the small function automatically ignores the logical values true or false in the array so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video if you like this video please give a thumbs up share your opinion and your queries in the comment section share this video with your friends who wants to learn microsoft excel from the beginning level if you have any queries please put that in the comment section i'll give you the link of this workbook into the description box i'll come back soon with another interesting video till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and keep practicing.